There's a lot of rugs within DeFi. Let's guarantee our users' funds stay safe by ensuring we have superior strategy. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Brownie strategy capabilities. We'd like to be able to create some test strategies. And last time when we were doing our integrative tests, we just passed a range to given, which is fine if you're dealing with only Pythonic data types, but oftentimes you need to test components of smart contracts that are based on ABI types. When we're talking about strings, but more commonly addresses, other contracts, there's a wide variety of ABI based data types that you can test natively within Brownie. I'm scrolling through a few here. And as you see in the documentation, this can even get into generating array and tuple sequences. So you can get quite advanced. For our sake, we're going to reimagine the script that we built last time as a test. The last script would say, what is the best possible tool to be in based on the rewards after one day? Here, we're going to run it as a test. We're going to assert that our strategy, whatever that may be, is the dominant strategy. And we're otherwise going to integrate through several tests to see if we can find a better strategy on curve. All we need is given and strategy. And our test is that our current staking, I'll call it strategy here. It's a double entendre, though. It's not the same strategy as the brownie strategy. We'll just say the test is that the current strategy is the best. So we'll do this as a pretty simple one and show how we might need to adjust the script we built last time to deal with the peculiarities of strategy. And we're going to want the index of a curve pool. So the index is going to be a, our first strategy and our only strategy for this case. You could perhaps experiment with different staking initial amounts, different amounts of VECRV staked to find out what optimum is, although that'd be pretty easy. Uh, Uint8 is the strategy type we're going to pass. We just need a small integer. And this integer needs to be between 0 and the current max value of 38. This is another interesting point on strategy strategies, which is that you by default are only going to test 50 of them. So this would test all of them, but if Curve had more pools, you need to change change your script in some key ways. Let's see, we're going to deal with Alice again, some other fixtures of the registry, and we're going to create a new one called Tripool Rewards, which will just take our Alice and have her initially aped into Tripool Rewards. Our script will deal with some assumptions. We'll have a final time that we'll advance to. Last time we advanced forward by exactly 24 hours, but this actually meant that the final script tested had a, because it was tested like a minute or two later, had a little bit of a bonus. So we'll advance to the exact same second in all cases. We'll set a threshold. We'll say assert that our strategy is best plus or minus 5%, 10%, set to zero for now. And our initial strategy will be none which is we're just already aped into curve pool rewards. But then we'll go through and we'll actually execute our initial strategy and test initial strategy rewards. Skip if the strategy, this is the new strategy that we're passing in as an index. Skip it if it's invalid. Then we'll test the new strategy rewards. And finally, we'll assert that the initial strategy is better than new. So if this test fails, then that means we found a better strategy. So it all makes sense. And I mentioned that we'll have uh, one other consideration that we have to deal with when we write through our scripts, which is the role of the chain snapshot. But first, a little housekeeping. Our conf test was great, but it has this load contract. And that's the only thing in here that's not a fixture. We can do a little better than that. So let's make a directory for helper functions called test helpers. And for now, we will split this window and create test helpers, and we'll call this utils.py. And we're going to move the load contract into here. And we'll go one step further and 
from helpers utils import star. And we're actually going to round out a bunch of functions in here. But before we do, how are we going to make sure that when we're building out our utils functions, that uh, when we're running our tests, we're not testing in this directory? Let's exclude this by adding a setup.cfg, which you could use to pass setup parameters for a variety of tools. In this case, the PyTest tool will take no recurse durs equals tests helpers. The next part is we're going to build out some helper functions. Uh, you don't need to watch this, so we're just going to use our chain powers to fast forward through this. And we're back. So all that was review, you can find it in the GitHub. The important thing is we created this fixture based on this helper function. And we also changed the amount of die we're working with to 100,000. We always within the Git repository include a diff between last unit and this unit. Now we'll just briefly walk through actually executing our strategy. So first off, if the index is the same as the initial strategy, let's skip this loop. Otherwise, if the initial strategy is not none, then that means we're saying we're already aped into one of these pools. So we'll load the contract of this pool. call it init strat. Then we'll use this new helper function we built to ape into uh, it from the tri pool. And we now have it so we just pass a array of the pools we want to check the rewards for. So we'll take any dust from tri pool and add the rewards pool that we just aped into. Otherwise, if our initial strategy is none, then we're just sitting in the tri pool rewards. So we only check tri pool rewards. I mentioned that we have to have a slight difference in the way that we're dealing with this. So first up, we advance to an exact final time exact final timestamp. And you'll know, if you go through and read through our code, you'll notice a few things. All the new code that we're referencing is not creating a chain snapshot. And yet here I'm reverting, even though there's no chain snapshot. So we still calculate the rewards and then we revert. When you're running a parameterized test, it already takes a snapshot at the beginning of the function. So it can screw with it if I create a new snapshot and if I revert, this takes me back to the beginning. So we have our first value, which is how we did in the old strategy. Now we wanna skip if the new strategy is invalid. So we're gonna take our new strategy, which is defined by the integrative parameter, AKA the index. We'll use the same try pool to meta, which is the function that we used above to move into whatever pool we're talking about. Again, starting from try pool rewards. And if the new rewards are none, we just return. That could be if the pool doesn't have a rewards pool or if we're like trying to go from a dollar pool to a Bitcoin pool. Now we mine forward to the same time. And we will pass again this array, any leftover dust and tri pool rewards, as well as our new rewards pool. And our final assertion is that our new rewards are less than our old rewards times whatever we set the threshold at.
Integrative tests can take a long time to run. So let's see how we do. It's not brownie run. I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. Brownie test, and I will see you. Okay, let's, we finally got a good breaking point. We found that this strategy is actually better than staying in three pool. So that's exactly the behavior we're looking to see. I had to do a little massaging to get this to work. I had some things not quite pulled in correctly, but I could, for example, now replace this and say 24 is my new dominant strategy. It's a little bit of a hacky way of dealing with integrative tests. Took me a little bit to get it running. I had some imports missing. The GitHub will have the final corrected copy. So now that we have a more dominant strategy, let's assert this is our initial strategy. And we can keep running this until we found what would be the actual best, most dominant strategy to run. I'm not gonna keep iterating it, but you are welcome to. Thank you as always, drop your questions in the comments. And it passed, by the way. And it looks like my test finally passed. Dominant strategy, 34. Not financial advice.